what you're doing and listen. What's up guys, so on the last episode we did fender rolling on the front, that was it, just kind of a quick episode. Before that we went to Cali, did a little Cali trip. Today, the most important project for the day is replacing the drive shaft center support or carrier bearing. And then I looked under the guiva was fine. But when I was down there doing the, what was I doing? Oh, I was looking at the uh, handbrake stuff. I noticed that was bad, and then I was down at the tire shop and did a little, a little smoky, and all of a sudden I hear gah, 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 in my drive sh in, in the transmission tunnel. I think, oh god, no, I broke something, and I thought I broke an axle. Well, it turns out it was, it's this guy. So ordered another one of these, I'll put that on, and I guess we will start a quick time lapse. You're going to need to start by placing the car on jack stands. Use factory jacking points and jack stands not cinder blocks, to ensure that you have the vehicle supported safely. The next step is about gaining access to the drive shaft. In my case, there's underbody arrow, three chassis reinforcement braces, the exhaust, and finally some heat shielding. If you're a one-man band like I am, use another pair of jack stands or a jack to support the rear of the exhaust while you unbolt the exhaust hangers. Then, remove the exhaust at the header to catalytic converter joint and pull the exhaust in one large piece. This is going to save time and it'll be less gaskets to replace. I found actually that these gaskets are pretty forgiving and reusable. One neat trick is to apply some anti-seize paste to the gasket to help reseal it when reusing. Now that the exhaust is out of the way, we can move one last heat shield blocking access to the drive shaft. And look at that. Yep, this is definitely the source of the noise. There are six Torx bolts holding the rear CV joint to the differential. This is a good time to make note of any play in the CV, diff, or even the axle, so we want to keep track of this as we put more vents on the car. Here in the front, you can see I'm unbolting the guibo from the transmission using a wrench to hold the nuts. This is a good time also to replace the guibo along with the center support since you're already in here. Plus, if one is worn, it's going to accelerate the wear of the other. Make sure when you're replacing the guibo to align the arrows properly. Now I'm not replacing the guibo here as I plan to swap it out for an upgraded version in the near future. Last step is to remove the two bolts holding the center support to the transmission tunnel and then fold the drive shaft in half to release it from the diff and the output shaft. Be gentle here, you don't want to damage the alignment bushing up front as it's pretty fragile. One of these days I'll get it out of there. Okay, so... I think you already seen what my carrier bearing looks like, so that explains a lot of the problem. So let me set you down here and we'll, uh, we'll talk a little more about it. Look at that bad boy. Beep. Straight torn. So that would explain why my drive shaft was beating the crap out of my transmission tunnel when I was getting on the gas. So what I'm gonna do is, it. I thought there was a nut here that slid off, but it looks like Right there, can you see it? Right here is a 14 or 15 millimeter bolt, and these guys don't come out in an easy way, so I think I'm just gonna try to sneak in there and get this guy loose, and then that should separate the two. Now I do need to mark to make sure that I put this drive shaft back together in the same you know, alignment as it began. So step, step one is gonna be to mark it, step two is gonna be to take that apart and then pull it apart and then we'll press this guy off with some tools that I borrowed from AutoZone. So let me 
get a wrench to get that guy off. First things first, we will scribe a mark there and a mark here. And that's just so I know the alignment when it goes back together. Second stage is going to be to get in here with uh, what I think is a 16, maybe a 17. <clears throat> or an 18. <clears throat> okay, that's going to work, but I need something to brace it. So now this guy's just going to slide off, and I do have my scribe marks. Yep, make sure that I can't put it back together wrong. We'll need to, to use a uh, bearing press to get this guy off. So yeah, just get that guy right in the center there. This guy snug down. Point right off and scooch on over to this side. So it's a little easier. And it's pulling it right off, no problem, super easy. Okay. So one bit. What I really need is the bearing, so now I need to readjust to get behind that bad boy. And in hindsight, I should be using the flat side on the bearing so I don't outload the outside of the bearing versus the inside. Um, but that doesn't really matter for a trash a bearing that's trash anyways. So not a big deal. We can continue to pull it like this, see if it comes off in one piece. Coming off easy. There we go. Okay. So I could use the bearing tool or I can just get a socket that fits right on that edge and tap it down because it wasn't that tight of a fit, so. Bingo. So I've actually got the 20, 32 millimeter axle nut that I used for the axles. Fits right on, right over, and it actually touches the inside ring there. So, we should be able to tap it on with that. And I like to use a dead blow hammer. And let's just make sure, yeah, see we're already barely tapping it and it's just going right on. There we go. We're fully seated. Another center shaft Guibo carrier bearing to fucking destroy drifting and doing burnouts.
All right, the drive shaft is back in the car, and of course, as always, not as always, but I forgot to put the damn dust cover on, and it is, it's all back together, and it's so deep, screw it, I'm going to get a one-piece drive shaft eventually, and I don't think dust is going to kill that guibo before I kill that guibo on my own, so I'll put the dust cover on the next time I'm back in there. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to end this video like this or if I'm going to end it with a fucking rad burnout because we got to test and make sure that, you know, we have to test. Where is the car? It's over here. We have to test and make sure that, you know, all this, all the fixings, we need to test and make sure that the drive shaft carrier bearing is fixed, that I can do a burnout and it's not going to break immediately. You know, I want to be able to do some drifting, but a burnout's a good test. And lastly, um, if I don't, if I, well, I guess if I end the video here, guys, please let me know what I can do to make the content better. Please let me know if you want shorter, longer videos. Throw a like, hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell. Like all that stuff really, really does wonders to help YouTube's algorithm put, you know, my videos and suggested feed which will help grow the channel etc so if you guys could please hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and throw me a comment and let me know what i am doing and i will catch you guys in the next episode